Hello everyone, my name is Basket Lockerball and welcome to the video. But guys, more importantly, welcome to another Ultimate Menu Challenge. A few months ago I did my first Ultimate Menu Challenge. I went to Burger King, had some delicious food, had a great time, a lot of fun. Today, however, we are going to Taco Bell. Guys, I'm hungry and it's time to live, Moss. Here we go. All right, guys, and we got all our delicious food from Taco Bell right here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dude, this is a Taco Bell challenge. Why do you have a KFC bag? Well, that's because the Taco Bell that I went to doubles as a KFC, and they decided to put some of the food in KFC bags. So that's why that's there. But rest assured, there should only be Taco Bell food in this challenge. But would you guys want to see an ultimate KFC menu challenge? Let me know in the comments below. Now, what do you say we unwrap all this delicious food and get it presentable? In here we have our nachos bel grande. Ooh, don't those look fantastic. Oh, I'm really excited for this, guys. Oh, we got... Actually, I'm just going to look at my receipt to tell you what I got. Okay, we got a variety pack, six soft tacos, six nacho cheese Doritos Locos tacos, four regular tacos, four beefy five layer burritos, one cheesy gordita crunch, one chicken quesadilla, one Mexican pizza, one crunch wrap supreme, nachos bel grande, one chalupa, one quesarito, a second quesarito, fiesta potatoes, and cinnamon twists. 63.73. Look at that. Like, do I really need that much sauce? Give it. They probably thought this was for a large group of people, but still. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of sauce. All right, and then in addition to all the sauces they gave me, I also have some sriracha chili sauce. I love that stuff. Delicious. And then I have Sweet Baby Ray's sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. We got our diet A and W. But I think the carbonation is going to really help with this challenge. Alright guys, it's at this point in the video I'll let you know the stats for this entire challenge. I'm going to put that right about there for you guys. There's going to be a ridiculous amount of sodium in this challenge, but I think I'm ready for it. After I did the Chinese food challenge a week ago, whew, I think I can handle it. Now, unfortunately, the Taco Bell I went to, they don't do frozen drinks. I was hoping to get a couple of their freeze drinks, but unfortunately I could not. Alright guys, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Taco Bell Ultimate Menu Challenge. I'm hungry, I'm happy, let's eat. Start a timer for fun, and let's see where the heck I'm going to put it. All right, let's put it there for now. That should be good. All right, let's start with a crunchy taco. All right, simple crunchy taco. Cheers. This is going to be a messy challenge, oh, I can feel it. Right away, I think we need to zazz this up with some fire sauce. Oh, yes. One thing that's good about the fire sauce or any of their hot sauces, they all have no calories. I love it. Here we go. That fire sauce isn't hot at all. Why don't we try out the Diablo sauce then? Surely this one has to be hot. Uh. Even that Diablo sauce, it tastes kind of sweet. It's really not even that spicy. Why don't we zazz this up ourselves and put some sriracha on there. Mm. 
There we go. Let's do it. Now that's properly spicy. Excellent. All right, first four crunchy tacos down. Off to an excellent start. So far I'm enjoying it. Now let's do the nachos bel grande with steak. All right, we got cheddar cheese, sour cream, pico de gallo, steak, and then tortilla chips. Boom. That was a close one. All right, guys, nachos bel grande with steak is done. Oh man, felt like it took me forever to eat that. So much chewing. That was good. I enjoyed it. I love the steak on there. The cheese and the toppings were excellent. The chips were a little bit stale though. All right, next, why don't we try out our Crunch Wrap Supreme. This is a black bean crunch wrap supreme, I think. Let's do it. Oh, that is good. To spice it up, however, you can take your crunch wrap supreme, remove your Star Wars books, and then you take your sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce and you See if you can slowly drizzle it. Just like so. Onto your crunch wrap. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. I love barbecue sauce. All right, that's it for our crunch wrap supreme. That was excellent. Why don't we try out... Alright, let's dive into our cravings box and do some of our soft tacos. Alright, so it's at this point we're going to ask you guys, are you team crunchy taco or soft taco? I'm not sure myself, but let's find out. Definitely team crunchy taco myself. Okay guys, all six soft tacos from our cravings pack are done. All right, next let's do our wrecked Mexican pizza. Tortillas on both sides with beef and some kind of sauce in the middle. Let's try it. Totally not going according to plan at all. Most of our Mexican pizza, there's some scrapings on there, but I'm not gonna scrape that, that's fine. I have to say that was good, but they kind of crushed it and the tortillas were completely not crunchy whatsoever. But again, the toppings and the flavor, on point, excellent. Almost 22 minutes. All right, let's, uh, let's do some of these burritos here because we got four of them. So, beefy five layer burritos. These are, these are big too. Ooh. You can see the beef, all the refried beans and the cheese. Okay, two burritos left. The second burrito tasted like there was more cheese in it than the first burrito. Interesting. Only because I have to try it, let's do barbecue sauce on this burrito. And then we just wrap it back up. Oh man, that 
is fantastic. Oh, so good with the barbecue sauce. Taco Bell is very inconsistent with their levels of items in their food, though. Look how much beef is in this one, dude. Like, oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, there's barely any cheese, which is completely contrary to the other burritos I had, like. Guys, all four of the beefy five layer burritos are down. The ones that had more cheese in it and then the white sauce, which I believe is sour cream. That is excellent. Taco Bell has some excellent sour cream. Wow. All right, let's do our, one of our specials here. Okay, this is the Chalupa. Okay, now I'm not actually sure what this is. I think it's a crunchy taco and they deep fry it. This one has chicken in it. Let's try it. Oh, that's definitely a deep fried taco. Wow, that's good. I think I'm definitely team deep fried taco shell now. Wow, that was excellent. A little too much lettuce inside, but otherwise phenomenal. All right, this is the cheesy gordita crunch. So it's a hard shell taco wrapped around a soft shell taco or a soft shell taco wrapped around a hard shell taco. Yeah, that, that's what it is. All right, let's do it. That is it for the cheesy gordita crunch. Best of both worlds on that one. Hard and soft shell. Fantastic. Okay, so we got six tacos left in here. Our quesadilla, potatoes, the cinnamon twists, and then two quesarillos. Ooh, this is still warm. This is the black bean quesarito. One quesarito down. So far it's going well, still feel good, but the flavors are starting to blend together a little bit. 36 minutes. All right, this is the other quesarito. Now this one I believe should have Fritos chips in it. Let's see. Oh, it definitely does. You can't see them, but I can totally taste it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, guys, both our quesaritos are down. The quesarito with the Fritos in it, that was very good. I can totally taste the Fritos flavor. I might be able to get this done in under an hour, but we'll see. All right, now we got... All right, nacho cheese Doritos Locos Taco. Now I have to say, I don't understand why they wrap the taco in this and then they feel the need to wrap it again in some cardboard. Like what, why? One wrap is not enough, you need a second one? Come on, let's try it. Yeah, I don't taste any nacho cheese Doritos flavor at all. Tastes like a regular crunchy taco to me. The Diet A&W is saving the day right now. Oh, that is so good. Okay. One more crunchy taco. Oh. All right, guys, all of our nacho cheese Doritos Locos Tacos are done. Okay, let's do our chicken quesadilla next. It's ice cold at this point, but what are you going to do? Oh, it took me forever to swallow that. Oh, oh man. I'm not full right now, I just don't want any more Taco Bell. Oh, man. 
All right, we got half of the quesadilla left. Oh, God. Our fiesta potatoes and then our cinnamon twist. Oh, God. Oh, no. Timer is still going, almost 56 minutes. I'm gonna try to power through this. Ah. Oh. Not gonna happen in an hour. I really gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh. Oh, quesadilla is done. I'm sorry guys, but I gotta plug in my camera and I really gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna keep this running, I'm gonna plug in my camera. I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take care of some things. You know how it is. Wow, that's two challenges in a row where I had to do that. Man, I don't know what's going on, but it's okay, I feel good. Felt nice to move around. Yes, the potatoes. Alright guys, Fiesta potatoes are done. Those were very good. The potatoes were well seasoned and again, Taco Bell has some excellent sour cream. Alright, now we just got the cinnamon twists. Oh, that sweetness. Ah, 72 minutes, 7 seconds. Whew, that was intense. That was uh, a lot of Taco Bell. All right, well, that's it, guys. That was the Taco Bell Ultimate Menu Challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any ideas for future food challenges, please comment below. And if you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I love doing food challenges. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. With that, this is Basket Locker Ball signing off. Peace.